The United States Army has successfully tested its new mid-range capability, MRC, missile system in the Western Pacific, marking a significant milestone. During the joint Talisman Sabre exercise in Northern Australia, the third multi-domain task force launched a standard missile 6, which successfully struck and sank an unspecified maritime target. This test represents the first time the land-based MRC has been fired west of the International Dateline, which divides the Pacific Ocean. Colonel Wade German, commander of the third multi-domain task force, emphasized the importance of this achievement. He stated, the deployment of the MRC and successful execution of a standard missile 6 live fire against a maritime target is another significant step forward in our ability to deploy, integrate and command and control advanced land-based maritime strike capabilities. Although this was the first live test of the MRC in the region, it had previously been deployed there during a joint exercise with the Philippines last year. The MRC is a valuable asset for the Army, addressing both a capability and range gap by offering a flexible means to fire both the SM-6 and the Tomahawk land attack missile. The development of the MRC followed the United States' withdrawal from the 1987 Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty in 2019. This decision was driven by concerns over Russian violations particularly related to Moscow's SSC-8-9M729 missile. The treaty had prohibited nuclear and conventional ground-launched ballistic and cruise missiles with ranges between 500 and 5,000 kilometers. The withdrawal allowed for the development of previously banned weapons. China has expressed strong opposition to the deployment of the MRC, viewing it as a threat to regional security. Last year, Lin Jian, a spokesperson for China's foreign military, criticized the deployment as a move to turn back the wheel of history, adding that it gravely threatens regional country security, incites geopolitical confrontation, and has aroused high vigilance and concerns of countries in the region. China maintains a substantial arsenal of ballistic missiles, including many intermediate range systems capable of threatening United States, and allied forces in the region. In discussions with Philippine Foreign Secretary Enrique Manuel last year, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi expressed concerns that the MRC could destabilize regional security and relations. China has warned Manila against triggering an arms race. Despite China's objections, the Philippines has shown interest in the MRC's capabilities as a valuable combat asset. When asked about the recent developments, China's embassy in the United States reiterated its opposition to the deployment of the land-based mid-range capability missile system in the Asia-Pacific region. The MRC remains a work in progress for the Army, which continues to explore its optimal use. During its deployment to the Philippines, United States personnel made adjustments to the system based on field experience, leading to multiple design changes. The recent test in Australia validated its ability to deploy long-range precision fires and provided valuable insights for future land-based maritime strike capabilities. Mobile launchers capable of striking targets on land and at sea hold significant potential in Pacific combat scenarios.